this problem is on normal distribution. See here, for a normal distributed variate with mean 1 and standard deviation 3, we have to find the probabilities for 3.43 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 6.19 and minus 1.43 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 6.19. See here, the mean value is given as 1 and standard deviation, the value here is 3. And now we have to find the probabilities between these values. So first of all, what is given? So in the solution, it is given that mean mu is equal to the mean value mu is equal to 1 and the standard deviation sigma value is given as 3. And the first solution here is for the solution 1. So when x is equal to, see here when the value x is equal to 3.43, see when x value is equal to 3.43, so we have to convert this in terms of z. So z is equal to the formula is x minus mu by sigma. So what is this x value that is 3.43? So if I substitute the same thing here, that is 3.43 minus mu value is 1 and sigma value here is 3. So what is the z value now? See here, the z value is nothing but this is 3.43 minus 1 divided by 3. The value here is 0 0.81. So, this is x1 value and we got z1 value. So, keep it as it is. And next when, see here, when x value is equal to, so this is x2. When we keep x2 is equal to 6.19, in the same formula that is x z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. If I substitute, then see z is equal to what is this x value? That is a 6.19 minus mu value is 1 and the standard deviation value is 3. Then our z2 value will be, see here our z2 value will be that is a 6.19 minus 1 divided by 3. The value here is 1.73. See here, the value here is 1.73. Now, we shall plot this in the normal curve. See here, the normal curve will be, so this is the curve and this is 0. And see, this will be the positive values and this will be the negative values. Here, z is equal to 1, z is equal to 2 and so on. So, usually this is the bell-shaped curve. And see here, if I plot this one, 0 0.81, as it is 0. So, the point here is I am plotting as 0 0.81. And the next one, the point here is, z is equal to, this is 1.73. See here, the value here is, this is 0 0.81 and this is 1.73. So, this is the area required. So, this is the area required. This is the Z1 value and this value is nothing but Z2. As we want the area, see here, what is the question here? The question is nothing but the probability of 3.43 less than or equal to X less than or equal to 1.69. So, what is the value of Z when X is equal to 3.43? It is 0 0.81. So, if I convert this in terms of Z, this is 0 0.81. In place of 3.43, the value of Z is 0 0.81. Less than or equal to Z, this is less than or equal to. In place of 6.19, we got the Z value as 1.73. So, this is the area which is needed. So, this is nothing but area of z2 minus this is area of z1 this is z2 and this is z1 the difference between these two will get the area of the of a problem see here what is area of z2 so area of what is z2 value that is 1.73 minus this is area of z1 is the it is 0 0.81 so, we need this value. So, 1.73 is nothing but, see here, 1.7 under 3. So, 1.7, see here, 1.7 under 3. See here, under 3. 1.7 under 3, the value here is 0 0.4582. See, I am showing this. This is 0 0.4582 minus 
0 0.8 under 1. See here, this is 0 0.8 under 1. 0 0.8 under 1, the value here is 0 0.2910. This is 0 0.2910. Therefore, if I subtract this one, our value will be, this is 0 0.1672 is the required value. See here, so the value, the area value is 0 0.1672 for the first solution. And the next one, next one for the solution 2, see here again, we have the mean value for the solution 2. See here again, I'm using the same pattern that is mean is given from the question as. So what is our mean value from the question? It is 1 and the standard deviation sigma value is equal to 3. And see here, this is x1. Assume that this is x1 and x2. When x1 is equal to, when the x value is equal to, so x1 is equal to, this is 1.43. 1.43. As we have the formula that z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. So z is equal to, what is our x value? This is minus 1.43 minus mu value is 1 and sigma value is equal to 3. So this is z1. Assume that this is Z1. So, Z1 is equal to. So, I will show you this one. That is minus 1.43 minus 1 divided by 3. The value here is minus 0 0.81. The value for minus 1.43 is in terms of Z, it is minus 0 0.81. And see, this is X1 and this is X2 again. So, what is our X2 value? That is a 6.19. So, again the same formula z is equal to x minus mu by sigma and I consider this as z2. What is the value? That is 6.19 minus 1 divided by 3. So, if I use this, that is a 6.19 minus 1 divided by 3. The value here is, what is our z2 value? That is 1.73. The value here is 1.73. 73. As we got both the values Z1 and Z2 ready, see here. So, what is our second question? The second question is nothing but minus the minus 1.43 less than or equal to X less than or equal to 6.19. 6.19. So, we have to find this probability. Instead of finding this probability, see in place of 1.43, we have the Z value as minus 0 0.81 less than or equal to z less than or equal to in place of 6.19 we have the z value as 1.73 see here 1.73 so if i plot the same thing here so this is the bell curve so this is the bell curve see here this is zero so this is the left hand side is negative part and this is positive part so this is a negative part that is this one is z is equal to minus 0 0.81 and this value 0 after this is 1 so this will be 1.73 the value here is 1.73 so from here till here we need the area so area we need the area between these two that is so we have to calculate from this part till this part. See here I am showing the whole uh, area which I have uh, crossed is the required area. See here the area will be that is area of uh, Z2 plus the area of Z1. See here this is Z2. This is Z1. So this will be area of 1.73 plus this is the area of minus 0 0.81 please we have to construct this one that area will never be zero that is area of minus z is again equal to area of plus z if you construct this one so this will be again the positive value that is area of 1.73 plus area of 0 0.81 See here, I am showing this normal distribution curve, 1.7 under 3. So, this will be, see here, 1.7 under 3. So, this will be 
zero one two three that is zero point four five eight two so this is zero point four five eight two plus zero point eight one zero point eight under one see here this is zero point eight under one this is zero and this is one zero point two nine one zero this is zero point two nine one zero so the total area here is zero point seven four nine two so the shaded area is zero point seven nine four seven four nine two is the area therefore the probability of minus one point four three less than or equal to x less than or equal to six point one nine is nothing but zero point seven four nine two so it's very easy so we have a simple formula that is z is equal to x minus mu by sigma see let me explain you once again when mean is given as one and standard deviation is given as three first of all we have to Note this one, mean is equal to 1 and sigma is equal to 3. So, we have to find this area. When x is equal to 3.43, substitute in this, forgetting the z value, that is x minus mu by sigma. If I substitute, so I got the z value as 0 0.81. And for x2, that is 6.19, I got the z value as 1.73. Now, we have to plot in this normal curve. So, as it as a z value is equal to 0, z value is equal to 1, 2. So, in between 1 and 2, we can plot 0 0.81 and the next one after 1, this is 1.73. So, we need this area, the shaded area. So, for that, see here, area of z2 minus z1 is the required area. What is z2 here? That is 1.73 minus 0 0.81. So, we have to subtract from z2 minus z1 so this is the required area and the next question here is 1.43 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 6.19 so this is the x value and this is z1 so this is x2 and this is z2 now we have to plot both the values so this is the left hand side is the negative part and this is the positive part so this is negative part minus 0 0.81 and this is the positive part that is 1.73 and we need the area of this shaded area that is total area so again we have to add up this one area of z2 plus z1 so z2 plus z1 so there is no negative area so negative we can consider as a positive area and therefore after seeing the normal distribution table so this is the area that is 0 0.7492 hope you all guys understand so it is very easy so i'll be uploading many more problems related to this series so you go through them so so that is enough for your preparation thank you so much for watching